Good morning. I'm Lily, quite new in the Dasan. I'm also taking up my PhD in business. But I'm here, I'm representing Region 8, University of Eastern Philippines. It's actually in Northern Samar. So maybe as a background, I'll just echo some of, hindi ko na echo, sabihin ko lang na halos kaparehas ng kay Ma'am Safa. Because Northern Samar is also one of the like, poorest uh, provinces in the country. So. Uh, given that mindset, well, in our university, we have College of Business Administration, we have like nine colleges and around 100 plus programs. So, in the College of Business Ad, maybe the closest courses that uh, would have discussions on social entrepreneurship are uh, BS Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurship and Marketing, BSBA major in Marketing Management. Because in Marketing Management, they have product development uh, Tangled, we don't have a subject on micro um, uh, social enterprises, but uh, when I asked some of the faculty members, they would just incorporate it in some of the topics. Like in product development, they would uh, encourage students to come up with product from resources in the province, like abaca, pinangat, if, uh, if those are food items, ingredients that are locally uh, sourced in our province. In entrepreneurship, in, in uh, CSR classes, doon mo lang raw medyo makikita yung discussion on social entrepreneurship. Ay, yeah, social enterprise. So given that, ang, ang medyo the irony is that uh, in our college, one of the best-selling course is marketing. But entrepreneurship, uh, medyo na, patapos na yung enrollment, kulang pa yung slots, hindi na pupuno. So if you come to think of it, Supposedly, DTI is really promoting because we, are, we don't have many companies for employment. Our students would end up coming to the, uh, going to the big cities for employment. So the um, best, uh, best solution for poverty actually is for students to put up their own businesses. Kaya we have so many micro-enterprises. However, they would just copy-paste those enterprises that are really profiting. Kasi nga, kailangan nilang kumita. Kasi medyo wala naman pa silang... So these businesses are actually like merchandising or they would have restaurants, service restaurants. Hindi mo masyado makikita yung social enterprise. The closest that uh, I can think of right now is that we have the Gugma Artisan. But again, it's not a graduate of our college who, who own the Gugma Artisan. Uh, Abaka handmade bags. And then we also have Cacao Farm. Uh, yun yung medyo clues na maliling ko dun sa uh, social enterprise. So the way I see it, you major barrier in the case of Northern Samar is number one, infra. Because Wi-Fi connection is really difficult. So students don't uh, are not really that exposed kung ano yung mga uh, latest, yung trend sa business. So, but our students are really very creative. If they join like competitions, they end up winning. Kaya lang hanggang regional lang siguro because they usually the university don't fund them or subsidize lang. E wala naman sa nang pera para for national and international competitions. And then isa pa, in terms of incubator, we don't have that. So, kasi nga siguro isa dun sa nag-point out kanina ng uh, challenge is that we don't have mentors that are trained in terms of social enterprise. So, wala pa kaming ganun. And then, ano ba yung uh, barriers dito? Geography is one. Malayo kami. Uh, we only have one airline. And if, if you take a bus, that's 16 hours drive. At tatawid ka pa, sasakay ka pa sa Roro. So, mahirap marating yung lugar. Okay, so... Um, Safety and security is one issue because it's nga malayo. So, but we do have experts coming in, and uh, so far last year, nakapaghost na ng isang international conference sa university namin. Despite the fact that it's quite far and difficult to reach, yung aeroplano pa punta doon yung pinakamalit pa. So, like ilang seater, about eighty seaters. Yung so, like the no, hindi pa siya Airbus, hindi pa Airbus. So. so 80 lang. So, pag nag-host ka rin ng conference, like 80 people pala makakasaka yung iba, kailangan nyo ng magbas pag pupunta ka doon. Tapos, ano pa yung na-point out ko dito? 
yun network uh, capabilities of the faculty members. So my reflection actually is number one. I agree with uh, what I've said. Since we we have many programs, actually collaboration is very important. Lalo na like engineering, they're producing so many products, but they don't have a business course. Um, ang college lang that would top our uh, instructors in the College of Business Ad is agriculture because they have agribusiness subject. Then the, uh, in terms of community services, we have the extension uh, requirement, right? In the extension, majority of the farm cooperatives and associations would go to the college and ask help in terms of financial literacy and legal uh, literacy. Yun yung una -una hinihingi nila. So for farmers, maraming estudyante anak ng mga farmers, but they don't end up actually farming. And if you look at our College of Agriculture, majority of our graduates, based on their latest tracer study, don't end up in agriculture. They end up for employment. Kasi nga, the way they see it, hindi naman nag ano yung buhay ng pamilya nila. If they, uh, so they, well, government intervention uh, should come in. Yun nga siguro the approach is, uh, in terms like in places like us, it should be a triple bottom line approach when we teach them and uh, tell them that although yes, you're helping the community, at the same time, there's still the element that you will also help your family elevate their economic status. Kasi that's number one, parang number one need nila for them to appreciate social enterprise. Okay, thank you.